Iniimbitan ngayon ng Philippine Military Academy ang mga aspiring pma para sa gagawin nilang eksaminasyon bukas, Miyerkules hanggang Sabado, September 2 hanggang September 5, na gaganapin sa 9th Infantry Division Philippine Army Pili, Camarines Sur. Aminado si Major Aldrin Abike sa pagharap sa kagawad ng media na dahil sa pandemya na nararanasan ngayon, kaunti lamang ang nagsusumite ng kanilang aplikasyon. Mayroon silang naitalang 279 registered applicants at inaasahan na dadami dahil tatanggap sila ng walk-in applicants sa araw ng examination. Kahit mababa ang naitala nilang aplikante noon mula sa Legazpi, tuloy pa rin ang recruitment para sa mga gustong pumasok dito. Subalit maliban sa kanilang basic requirements na application form, photocopy of birth certificate, report card or TOR, pencil at 2 by 2 picture with white background, kailangan ding magsumite ng aplikante ng medical certificate mula sa health municipality at authorization or travel pass naman mula sa barangay. Uh, Nire-require po namin talaga na mag-secure sila ng uh, medical certificate sa kanilang uh, health centers and uh, we also require them to provide or to get a copy of a pass from their barangay na mag-certify na inotorize silang mag-travel from their respective barangay to the venue which is dito po sa loob ng uh, Camp uh, Elias Angeles Pili, Camarines Sur. Following uh, our qualifications for admission, unang-una po, of course, uh, dapat natural-born Filipino citizen yung uh, isang aplikante. Pangalawa, he is physically fit and uh, of good moral character. Pangatlo, of course, dapat uh, single pa siya at uh, doon naman sa, sa babae is never been married nor pregnant nor have a legal obligation to support a child. Pang-apat po, at least high school graduate with uh, a general average of 85% or higher. Pang-anim, uh, of course, must pass the PMA entrance examination. Pang-pito, pang at least, uh, yun, na, yun na po yung kanina, minimum uh, height requirement, 5 feet for both male and female. And lastly, age requirement at least 17 years old and not more than 22 years on 01 April of the year of admission. Unang-una po, meron silang free college education. So, four years po yan na libre po yung kanilang pag-aaral. Monthly salary and allowances. Meron pong equivalent na base pay na nag-a-amount po ng 38,000 monthly. And of course, meron din pong mga allowances maliban doon. Pangatlo is guaranteed po na meron silang uh, trabaho after graduation and uh, progressive career as an officer in the Army, Air Force or Navy. Mayroon silang 350 kota at kukuha dito ng 10% para sa mga babae. Samantala, sinisigurado rin nila na walang hazing ang Philippine Military Academy at inaayos na umano nila ang maltreatment sa loob ng academy. Actually, wala pong uh, hazing sa academy. Uh, mayroon pong maltreatment but uh, the academy does, are not tolerating uh, that kind of uh, uh, issue. Any cadets who will be... Uh, Found violated that one will be dealt with accordingly. Face to face parin ang klase sa loob na academy kasabay ng pagsunod sa kanilang sistema dahil dada anaman umano sa medical at swab testing ang lahat ng mga kapasa at papasok sa Philippine Military Academy. Mix na po yung modo pa ng yon instruction. Lately na tapos po yung online. Sa ngayon po, face-to-face uh, -face na po yung ating klase, provided na naka-social distancing na po sila. Uh, sa mga nais po pumasok sa pagiging kadete, sa darating po na 02 to, 02 to 05 September, huwag niyo pong kalimutan na dalhin yung inyong uh, duly accomplished application form, yung inyong uh, photocopy ng uh, birth certificate, 2x2 ID with the photo in white background taken within the last 6 months. And lastly, yung lapis na number 2 pencil. Additional, yung ano po, yung ating medical certificate at health declaration is kailangan po bago pumasok dito sa headquarters ng 9ID. Adam Florarita, 
Reach TV News.